stand close to this side here. Stand close to this side. Okay. Assume your setup position. And then put your right elbow against this board here. Okay. Once you align this and then put your right hand on the on the okay. top. Gotcha. So put your right elbow against and yeah, put there. And then go to backswing. As you go backswing, the elbow should stay on this plane. Turn, turn your shoulders, turn your shoulders for the, for the, oh, you have to turn your shoulders to do the back swing. Not just the arm. Okay. We want me to do the stand. Oh, okay. You see? And then bring the hands higher here. Oh, okay. This is the, the posture. Okay. Again, as you turn, bring the hands higher. So what the, yeah, what the forearm does, here, yeah, what the forearm does is, Supination here. Right. On the way, supination. Mm -hmm. Then your, your elbow follows that plane, and then with the supination, your hand will go above the swing plane, right? Yeah. That's uh, the posture you need to feel in the back swing. Uh, but uh, here, uh, but upper body, it doesn't completely extend like this, but maintain the axis and go here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. go, a bit, go a bit higher. Yeah. So you have to bring the right elbow like this instead of putting against your trunk here and go really low. As long as you move your right arm like this, you cannot make flat backswing. Gotcha. And as I said, backswing pad can be a bit higher. That's okay because you can easily bring this down using a looping action, right? Right. So, don't be afraid of going a bit higher. So it looks like this. So from here, just moving like this and then let it go. Mm, 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 using a bit of a body rhythm. Mm, mm, let it go. And kick the ground with the right leg. Kick the ground with the right leg and then throw the arm along that plane. Mm. But it's not, no, it's not lifting your arm here. It should come from the body action. Okay, the body. And then add the arm motion at the end. Okay. Yeah. Use the right leg more actively. So again, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, stay there. Okay. You can go, you can move, uh, yeah. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with the right, active right leg action, push and throw. Yes, yes. Yes. That's how you need to move the right elbow and the right arm. So in order to have that, your body has to assume more uh, uh, centered or reverse pivot posture. Right. Slight reverse pivot posture. Yeah. So this slope is about uh, currently 45, 46 degrees. 46. That's reasonable. So uh, you know, come up with a uh, some, come up with a board like this. It just can be a simple board here, leaning against the wall, but control the angle around the 46. You know, and then using that board, practice this motion. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Now, go to the top and assume the the top position. And then hold this here. Then with this posture, the clubs are aligned this way here. When you have that posture, oh, this looks good here. So this is the posture here. Okay. Your elbow is uh, higher than uh, your normal posture. It's easier to align the stick toward the target with that. Yeah, go, go more, and then if you feel the motion of the end of the club, then you're going here. Making bigger backswing like this, is, this is okay. Mm -hmm. As long as your elbow is here, you can easily move the club this way here. Okay, you mean down. Yeah, when you are here, then you don't have to worry about bouncing, the direction of bouncing, because your club head is placed correctly here. All you do is just come down, and then your swing plane will be more 
along the target instead of going severely outward. Gotcha. So that right arm position, right elbow position here, and then your body naturally should have a bit the reverse pivot. So lean for the here, but the reverse pivot here. If your elbow is here, then this is good. Automatically, you have good top position here. This is where I need to be. Mm. This is what you need to feel. That's what I need to feel. So again, at home, okay, just to use a, a, a plywood, whatever size that is, mm -hmm. but I guess it should be bigger than this one here, and lean it against the wall. About 45, 46 And create degrees. about the 45 degrees, 46 degrees. And then okay. put your elbow against it here, and then using the this brisk body action, and then throw here along the plane. 